Okay, Survivor fans, the 12th episode of Edge of Extinction was the highly anticipated Loved Ones episode, and there was a lot of interesting gameplay going on as well. So we're going to talk all about that. I'm here with Susan Wazena. I'm Marcus James Dixon. So Susan, let's get right into it. Ron giving the secret advantage menu to Rick, the expired menu. Do you think that was a good move or not? Because, I mean... Ron was voted out, so obviously not. But. Well, I guess he thought it would make him feel like he would trust him, but I think it did the opposite because people just don't do that. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, as we were talking about, you know, he hasn't had the individual immunity at all, and yet he's so cocky, you know, he, he gives, you know, he thinks that they're going to fall for this. And you would think at some point he might have brought it up way before. Who knows? My question is, it's it's said on it that it expires after the. I th think he ripped it up to the portion that only showed the advantages. That's what I figured because it was just this. I, it was a lot bigger hmm. when we first saw it. So he ripped it up and gave him partial menu, not the. I don't know if they have scissors, but he did something. Oh. <laughs> uh. It was interesting because Julie seemed to know about it, but we didn't see the scene of Julie knowing. So there's a lot going on that we're not seeing. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think it was a good move on Ron's part. I mean, this happened last season too, didn't it? With Angelina, didn't she maliciously give someone a fake thing, hoping that it would embarrass them at tribal council? So th there's been a, a another advantage menu. I found out. I forget which season but um that was the person used it for real but it didn't help because then they got voted off the next time so and two other advantages real advantages were used um rick used the hidden idol that he found above the camp i loved that scene of him climbing. i wanted him to fall down so bad because it'd be so funny <laughs> and then we'd have a medevac again so. And then Aurora finally played her extra vote, but she actually That's right. gave she, to Gavin. Yeah. But the thing was, was, Gavin was supposed to use it in the event of a tie, but he, he didn't get the memo. He used it at, at the vote, at the real vote instead, which was funny. He ended yeah. up playing that vote for Ron and his own vote for Ron. Yeah. Well, a little extra didn't hurt. So because <laughs> Rick had the idol. So. Yeah. That was such a good moment. So yeah. Rick. Rick goes up and tells Jeff, I've got this advantage menu. And Jeff's like, this is expired. And he turns around and he calls out. This was his plan. You knew it. Yeah. He calls out Ron and Julie for trying to make him look, you know, trying to embarrass him in front of his, his child who will be at home watching. It was a great move. I'm sure he does that all by himself frequently. <laughs> he doesn't need help being embarrassing <laughs> with his jokes and such. But uh, no, I mean, he, he, I mean, well, we were talking about, you know, no one's been looking for idols. And so I was like shocked and amazed there was one. And my theory is this idol has been up in that tree since Kelly was eliminated, what, two or three weeks ago, because she had an idol in her pocket. And the, 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 the rule is when you get voted out and you play an idol or, you know, you have it in your pocket and don't use it, it goes back into the game. So right. they've been sitting up there for all these days for them weeks yeah. for us and mm -hmm. no one, no one bothered to look for it it's crazy well are we going to talk about the challenge the yeah, bucket challenge or whatever <laughs> yes so okay tell us about the loved ones challenge well it's surprising how much these uh female contestants love their fathers but i'm not going to judge <laughs> There's a lot of hugging a lot of hugging, a lot of very close, full body hugging at Lauren's part. But I understand some women are very attached to their dad. So we're not, I'm not going to be too judgy. But um, yeah, um, the whole Gavin thing, that, yeah. I don't know. You know, so they're not together. Maybe it'll be better for them to get back together and they'll be like, Falling in love all over again. So <laughs> was happy to see her because they just got married, what, two days before the show started. Right. 
So you you weren't you didn't grab the tissues. I'm getting the feeling you weren't. Uh, no, I, I didn't. No, <laughs> Kevin is the most emotionless person. I mean, he got emotional, but even that wasn't that emo. You know, what I'm saying he wasn't saying things, or mm. maybe his you know eyes got moist. But you know, when he was finally with his you know his new wife, it, it didn't seem. I mean, he just. That's just his way, I guess. So. The thing that surprised me was, didn't he turn to his, his fellow castaways and say, you guys don't know this, but I just got married two days before the show. Why wouldn't he tell them? Why keep that private? Wait, wait, but that's not true. Well, maybe the two days part was not told, but he, the women were saying, oh, he, she, he talks about you all the time. Yeah. Don't I mean, worry yeah. about us. We're not, you know, a threat. <laughs> <laughs> so Ron wins his very first challenge. He never had won immunity or a reward. But your theory is it's it's not him, right? It was his husband. No, it was his his husband because he somehow put that last drop in mm -hmm. and it went down and they won. <laughs> but I think actually it backfired on him because his choice of who to bring kind of I think put him you know, even more in danger because I, what do you think? Because I think he had, Julie, you know, is like, she doesn't make a move without talking to him, it seems. Mm -hmm. And um, Gavin, I mean, I guess it's nice, but I don't think that's a substitute for a honeymoon, but whatever he wants to think. <laughs> you know? every, I feel like every year people mess up on these, these. Who's to, who to take? And all you have to do is just, Look at the challenge and say, okay, who was second place? Okay, Rick, that was you. Okay, you're coming with me. Who was third place? Uh, Julie, that was you. You're coming with me. That's all you have to do. Just say mm -hmm. I'm doing a straight based on the challenge. Or what Ron could have done is, you know, ask his husband, you pick. I don't want to pick. I don't want to offend people. You just pick who you want to come. And then lay it on the husband. Have him be at fault. Yeah, yeah. There are other ways to do it. And every year people mess this up. I don't understand. There's been some smart ones, but it's been a while, I think. Yeah. To get the right one. And remember with Christian, with his girlfriend, ruined his whole alliance with. Oh, yeah, because um, Gabby got jealous. Yes. <laughs> um, something about this challenge that, because they've done this one before, is I feel like women with long hair have an advantage because the water can get in their hair and they can just rinse their hair out into the bucket. And um, well, Joe would be great at it. <laughs> Oh yeah, and Rick was throwing this water on his wife, and I'm like, is he doing this on purpose so that she she has you know extra water to put in the bucket? Who knows? I didn't see anybody squeezing their hair out. <laughs> Maybe they weren't allowed to. No, who knows what the rules are? <laughs> and then, um, so the the immunity winner, it was Gavin, and right. that was second. I'm I'm looking at the yeah, he's won two immunities. Um, Aurora has won two, Rick has won two, and Julie has won one. So if you've won immunity, you're still in the game. That's the rule. None of these voted out people have won, which is interesting. Well, who who are people saying will go next? Because it seems like, so do you think Rick is still with a target? Right now I have Rick winning the game, but that requires him to keep winning immunity or finding idols. That's idols, yeah. If he goes to tribal council without either of those things, he's gonna be voted out. But I so I'm going against, you know, conventional wisdom. But so I'm I'm on the the gold derby odds right now. Overall people think Lauren is going to win and they have Gavin in second. I think and I would say Lauren, no. I do think it was interesting. The women were all dressed alike. I mean, they have buffs on the that That's a sign of unity, I thought, <laughs> that the boys, the two that are left, better watch out. And then in terms of who's going home next, Gold Derby readers predict Rick Devins. Yeah, well, but he could find another idol because no one else is looking for him. So. <laughs> Preview trailer. It shows Rick like running around like a crazy man, and and he's look he's looking because he just played one. So the rules indicate that that idol will go back into the game. I don't know. It, they never obviously they don't show how long it takes for them to actually hunt down these things. 
-hmm. I don't really want to see all that, but I just wonder, you know, it just sometimes seems like they just walk through, you know, whatever pathway and they just happen to look just in the right direction. Yeah. If, uh, if next week is the extinction Island challenge, which it may be because it showed a clip of them finding, you know, brand new bottles on the beach with information in them. Who do you think would win that challenge? There's what, 10 people there now. Oh my God. I can't even remember. <laughs> There's a lot. Not Reem. Let's cross her. <laughs> uh, okay, I have, I have the list of everyone on Extinction Island. Okay, okay. Reem, Chris, Aubrey, Joe, Eric, Julia, David, Kelly, Wardog, and Ron. Well, not, okay, I, I still think Aubrey, because she had that practice thing, and she's been practicing a long time, because that was like five weeks ago. I forgot about that. Yes. I wonder if she's been practicing. Why don't they show us Extinction Island anymore? It's like so boring over there. They're not even going to show us her practicing. Well, or he said when I looked up initially how he was, you know, kind of framing it. He said if we just show five minutes an episode, that's enough drama. And but really, is it because it's just I, apparently nothing goes on there, so <laughs> there's nothing to show beyond that. I think it should be like an online series, like RuPaul's Drag Race has Untapped, yeah. where it's like the, an after show. Well, think, like um, Top Chef has a Last yeah. Chance Kitchen. The Voice is doing that now with the comment yeah. page. I think Survivor should. Okay, when we go to the Survivor finale together, mm -hmm. we'll try to hunt down Jeff Probst and sell him the idea. So. <laughs> yeah, the Extinction Island after show. I would watch that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, any other thoughts here? Who do you think, did you say, oh, you think Aubrey. Okay, I'm gonna say if the challenge is gonna happen, I'm gonna just go with Joe. He's given up hope. His <laughs> face is so sad, even when he goes and sits on the jury. It's not, he's he's just, he's gonna get married soon. You know, he's got other things on his mind. So I think he doesn't wanna be there <laughs> anymore. He won the poll, right? He People think Joe's coming back. Yeah, but only with the four um, returnees, not the rest of the gang. Right. I, I really, I mean, I don't know. We don't know enough who's doing what. Mm -hmm. But I would just think that the returnees would be more committed than the people who haven't had as much as stake reputation-wise or something. Right. Kelly, I don't know. Kelly, she sucks at like the immunity challenge. She always gets out like second or third. I mean, she's never hung in there very long. Right. That's why I think Joe could do it, but it could be, you know, half obstacle course, half puzzle. And can, is Joe going to win the puzzle over someone like Aubrey? So you could be right. Right. No, Aubrey's a little more brain oriented. <laughs> Joe. Cause oh. Joe never looks for an idol. Never. He just, you know, thinks he's Superman and he'll get it done. But he's too busy painting signs and flying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like him. I feel sorry for him. I wish one of them would still be in the game. Yeah. And you know which one I would want. <laughs> I, I would love Aubrey to come back. Um, I would love David to come back. Reem, I don't know about Reem. I want her. I said that in a as Slugfest we did last week or the week before. I want Reem to come back in another season. I don't want her to come back from Extinction Island. She's been away from the game too long. She she has no social, um, a, you know, if she's in the final three, let's say she comes back and she makes yeah. it, there's no case to make because she's she's done nothing social, nothing strategic. So I don't want her, I don't, let's not have Reem come back, but I want her for another season, season 40 or something. Okay. It'd be people who are constantly in a bad mood, contestants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then happy people <laughs> try. Survivor, um, yeah. sad versus happy. Yeah, just do emotions. <laughs> they, it'll be the emoji season. <laughs> <laughs> the, the buffs will have emojis. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you at the next episode.